the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today is a big day. We are going to merge with our higher self. We're going to meet our higher selves. We're going to ask questions. And then, in something that has never happened before in a large meditation, we are going to invite our higher selves in to our bodies. And we are going to merge and fuse ourselves with the higher self, the quantum higher self. Everybody has a higher self in their own reality. In infinite realities, there are infinite higher selves. And there is one quantum higher self, I call it, who is the higher self of all the higher selves. When we merge with this quantum higher self, it is so amazing. Imagine a perfect version of yourself from the future, one that's already been through all of the different incarnations, far, far into the future, highly advanced, highly advanced in every skill of magic and love, merging with you, an angelic version of you from the future takes over your life and you become this higher self it is so transformative you will find yourself on a new mission everything is going to change your higher self if you don't understand what that is is a version of you in the future far in the future perhaps billions of years who is you who is you living this life right now? Who has lived all of the lives in a first-person perspective? All of them. And knows all of the consequences of every action. Your higher self is there to guide you from the sixth and a half density. Carrying sixth and a half density light. Pure love. Undeniable. Unstoppable pure love the negative polarity can't go past the six and a half density so all higher selves come from the positive polarity and you have a higher self right now that's with you at all times and you can communicate with your higher self i've been able to channel my higher self and the more you get into contact with your higher self this is an aspect of god you are God. This is an aspect of God individualized to your creations. And you can access the all that is. And you can access the all that is you. This multidimensional capability, this multidimensional knowledge of the higher self is so transformative and powerful. It will change the world. Just this meditation alone. Even 50 or 100 people that become their higher selves will become the highest version of themselves in this timeline, all at the same time. It is an unstoppable force for love. You will now be a secret agent of unconditional love if you do this. So you must accept this task with all that it represents. You will have the power of unconditional love, which is unstoppable. You will not only change your life, but change the lives of everyone you meet in such a dynamic and powerful way. And you, yeah, you, you are the key to saving this planet. We've been waiting for you all this time. All the higher selves have been waiting for you and your higher self to join us. And we are going to join all of our higher selves at the end of this meditation into something wonderful. So I want you to mark it right here. And you can use this anytime that you want to connect or transform or integrate with your higher self even further. So find a place to sit down and relax. If it's easier for you to lay down, do it. I prefer to sit down. 
I prefer to do this away from my bed, but there's no reason why you can do it in your bed. So just begin to relax and adjust your body. And however you adjust it, it will be right. Become aware of your spine. Don't crouch too much, but align it comfortably. Take a moment to scan your body and become aware of it. Become conscious with your breath, breathing in. breathing out, slowing down your breath. For a moment, placing your hand upon your heart and slowing your breath down even more than the last breath. Understanding that each breath is a wish, is an intention. And the power of your breath as you breathe in again. And as you breathe in, you can watch your breath go down into your feet, up through your legs, up through your thighs. Watch your breath going up through your stomach, your groin, through your perineum, up through the solar plexus, and the heart, up through the throat, into the head, each breath relaxing all of the muscles in your face, in your forehead, in your tongue, really finding that deep inner place to completely let go. Let go of all your worries, all your concerns. Just put them in a box outside of your room. This is a magical box and when you place them in that box with the intention that they will all be resolved perfectly and wonderfully, easily in the near future, in the most wonderful way. letting them go, scan your body and try to notice if you are holding any emotions in your body. If you're squeezing any muscles that perhaps shouldn't be squeezed, gently scan to see any heat signatures that may be produced by fear, anger, or any particular programming from your past. And through sheer intention, you now release all of these energies from your body. You can release them down through the legs, down through the feet, and out into the earth. We're going to quickly spin up your Markaba. So place your forefinger and your thumb together on both hands and breathe in through your nose. And as you do this, you see the negativity going down through your feet and out. Breathing in again, placing your next finger with your thumb. And as you breathe in, you start to see two tetrahedrons that shape a six-pointed star, Merkaba, all around you in three dimensions. 
moving to your next finger you breathe in again keeping your breath even going in and out and as you breathe in and you release all the negativity cleaning out each circuit in your body moving your thumb to your pinky you breathe in again and you see the energies from above at the very very top of the universe coming straight down through your crown through your spine down into your stomach and you see the energies from deep inside the earth coming up and meeting you right there with your next breath you send love and thanks down to the earth as this prana ball grows in power and intensity and as you breathe out placing two fingers your first two fingers on your thumbs you breathe in again and you see this six-pointed star all around you you see that you are three of them one is neutral that's you your body is in it it does not move yet another one begins to move slowly at first to the left and another one to the right each with different energies energies of the sun and the earth energies that are masculine and feminine and you see them begin to slowly turn and spin moving faster and faster you see this tube of prana as the energy moves down your body down into the earth and back up into your body and this ball of prana grows so strong that another sphere forms in perfection all around you a perfect sphere around your body and these tetrahedrons begin to spin even more resting your hand however you wish to they begin to spin three tenths the speed of light at the very outer edges breathing in again Thirty-four twenty-one. as one tetrahedron moves to the left and one to the right one to the left 34 times and one to the right 21 times each of your Merkaba spinning in that Fibonacci sequence moving up moving faster faster till they blend together at nine tenths the speed of light and your energy body spreads out over 55 feet around you feeling unconditional love you pull this prana ball up into your heart powering the Merkaba feeling a shift into fourth density into the fifth dimension as you pull this energy up and as you sit there and your Merkaba is spinning perfectly I want you to go to your root and become aware of your root chakra right at your perineum right at your base and just simply become aware of the space around this chakra you may see the color red and with intention we want to activate this chakra you have a feeling of safety you are rooted to this earth rooted to this life that you are in now this 
is where you want to be right now and you are safe and protected and free and you feel it relax and the energy opening up this energy protects you it helps you to survive it always has we are grateful for it and you can see the space all around your body in this area as it opens up it spreads out moving up you can feel the radiance of this red then moving up into your second sacral chakra right there close to your sexual organs you can feel it you can feel that powerful passionate sexual energy the energy of life that is locked within you for eternity that is not limited you can see the energy flowing in the color orange and become aware of this space around this chakra this energy meridian connecting to your root chakra balancing then moving up into your solar plexus with a feeling of will a feeling of power and you see it begin to shine like a sun glowing yellow sun you are powerful hold your awareness in the area around your body where your solar plexus is feel the energy spreading out into your energy body all 55 feet of it feel this incredible energy coming in and entering your Merkaba as you then begin to access even more sacred geometries around you you move up into your heart this incredible part of your body which holds the infinite programs of pure love potential that created the universe is a place so vast you can never find the end of it a universe in itself it looks exactly like the universe outside stand in your heart and feel the awe and majesty of this incredible presence within your body shining and growing the green energy now spreading out and here we ask our heart tell us about yourself why you chose to take this journey with us bless us with your knowledge and forgive us thank you so much for every beat of the heart and every bit of love that we have felt in this life and we ask to awaken you perfectly and wholly in this moment moving down back down to your solar plexus down to your sacral down to the root and then back up you feel all four of these chakras opening and your secret chakra that awakens within your merkaba up into your heart and now moving from your heart we move in through to the throat chakra this beautiful blue energy You feel your power. You feel your ability to express yourself. Your voice is heard. Your truth is heard. You now speak the words of God. Be careful what you speak, for your power is strong. Become aware of the entire field of space around your throat.
moving up into your pineal gland, your third eye, this incredible place that can see and draw light, that can see into the inner dimensions. This beautiful indigo light. Shrink yourself down. There is a crystal inside your pineal gland. Shrink yourself down so small that you see this crystal and it is a vast palace of crystal. This is the interdimensional gateway within your own body. Call upon the heart to come with you, to join you in this journey into this crystal chamber as an ally, as an equal. And as we enter, we enter into a field. So enter into this crystal palace. Within this palace is the information of all your future, all your past lives. In this crystal palace right now within your own pineal gland, we can see right now what's happening in all the different realities. It is available to you. And all of your higher selves meet here. All the versions of yourself meet here. They exchange stories, probably while you sleep. You can communicate with any one of them. They're all here. Before you can interact with any higher selves, you must go through the void. You see a black void. And you must go through this void to enter in to the chamber. And as you see this void, it may start out as a tiny black dot. It will grow. Don't be afraid. It is pure, perfect potential. It is wonderful. Simply relax. One, inhaling as fully as you can. Expand your lungs and belly. Holding for a moment. And exhale. Two. Inhale. Feeling relaxing sensations. Encompassing your body. Hold it. And exhale. Inhaling as much as you can. Feeling great power through your oxygenation. Hold in this oxygenation and soak it in. And exhale. All you see is void, a space all around you. How far does this infinite void go? Begin to focus on the sensations in your body. What are your fingertips 
really touching. Notice how the palms of your hands feel. What are your feet touching? Notice how the soles of your feet feel. Become aware of your head. Is that how your scalp really feels? For a moment, can you sense how extremely powerful your brain really is in this void? Can you become aware of a mind? One vast mind. How big is your mind? How big is your imagination? Your ability to imagine is boundless. Your mind has no limits whatsoever. You can literally use the great power of your creative imagination to experience quantum dimensions. And from this void, you come into a white room and you relax. I'm going to count from 10 to 1, and with each number I say, you will float along the timeline of your past, just observing all the moments of your life pass by without involving any emotions. You are floating along this timeline of your life, all the way to your birth, and making your way back to soul level. From there, you will be allowed to communicate with your higher self. Ten. Letting your mind begin to drift back in time. What were you doing this morning? What were you doing yesterday? Last month. Nine, see what you were doing last year. Eight, floating back along your timeline, five years go by. Then ten years. Seven. You drift all the way to your school days. See moments flash by when you were a teenager. Six. Drifting through your childhood. See the places you lived during these times. See any memories that come, just let them pass by. Five, 
You are seeing things from when you were young, very young. Perhaps they are real accounts of memories you had, or maybe you can just see stories you were told about your early childhood. Four, you can see you are a baby now, just learning to walk. See these moments as clearly as you can. Three, you are a very tiny baby now, before you could walk, see people caring for you. Observe any colors or sounds you may notice from this time. Two. Now you are in your mother's womb, safe and warm. It's quiet in there, and you feel wanted in the world outside of your mother. One. Now, you are only but a spark of life in your mother, sent from your father. And zero, you are passing through back into the spiritual dimension, the place of unlimited awareness. Observe what you are experiencing right now. You sense a presence that is pure and beautiful. It is the most intelligent presence you have ever felt. This is your higher self for this life, in this timeline that you're in right now. This is you. Notice the qualities of this existence. What's it like? Allow for a moment of stillness now. This higher self has been waiting a long time for you to come to this moment where you can connect and learn. What form 
does this higher self knowledge take on in this moment? What do they look like? Notice every detail and quality about this quantum being that you can. They are so excited that you are here. The first bit of knowledge that this spirit offers is about you in your human form, giving you insight about something you need to know. Open yourself up completely now to anything you need to learn about this current human incarnation you are experiencing. And listen. Listen with an open mind, allowing anything into your mind that needs to present itself. Any messages you receive here, now, you remember for the rest of your human life. This is a very important moment with your total soul consciousness. You may hear messages in the form of words, or you may just have a feeling. Whatever you experience is perfectly fine. This is an empowered version of your intuition. Allow your intuition to speak with you. Good. This moment you are spending with your higher self intuition is void of any fears. Fear cannot exist when higher self is present. So without any burden of fear, ask this all knowing, higher knowledge, whatever you need, 
anything that comes to mind. Say to your higher self now, how can my human incarnation carry out my soul's purpose? And listen. Incarnating as life on earth is a learning experience. It's like a school. So ask your higher self anything you need to know or do as a student in human form. Listen now very closely because any message you receive will be very important. As you spend this time together, you are completely rejuvenated. Your mind automatically sorts through any problems with ease and clarity. Earth is a chance for us to solve any and all problems so that we can fully experience pure paradise. Ask your higher self anything that comes to mind and listen very closely.
Now I want you to thank your higher self in this moment. And now he takes you in through a door and you see out upon the higher selves of all of the different versions of you in all of the realities. Just your higher selves, not anyone else, just yours. You can see them in dazzling beauty and infinity. Your mind creates a matrix as you see all of these higher selves, different lives, the ones that are the most successful, the ones that are the most spiritual, the ones that are the most wealthy, the ones that are able to offer the greatest service to the most people, the ones that find the greatest loves, all of them. Moving up and up, you can see the ones that live the greatest lives, the smartest, the wisest, the most incredible versions of yourself. Moving up to the very best, highest version of all the higher selves. This version of yourself is the most powerful, most successful in every area, in love, the most healthy, the most spiritual, the one able to offer the greatest service to others. Of the highest density amazing in every way this particular person and their higher self are here right now I want you to download any information from them for a little bit let this be a conversation And what you're going to do is allow this highest version of yourself to come into you and you'll switch places. This highest version of yourself, smarter, funnier, wiser, more attuned, more incredible in every way, the very best version of you in every way walks into your body, begins to get used to this new body, the hands and toes. You both agree that this is the best path and you integrate your memories in your current incarnation. And together, you go into the next room and you see your quantum higher self, the higher self watching over all the other higher selves with knowledge of every possible future for you and the planet that will allow you to make the best choices to help your family, to help yourself, and to help others, and to help the planet. What is it that you can do to change the world? Now your quantum higher self and this best version of yourself integrate, sharing knowledge and information freely.
you can see every possible version of you in the future integrate this knowledge the quantum higher self wants to share a few messages with you each of these things the quantum higher self wants you to think about you deserve the best in every situation you have special gifts all negatives can be turned into positives remember to make time for play Are here to create you are love love yourself always you are a secret agent for unconditional love completely with your quantum higher self your higher self and the best version of yourself and allow yourself to connect completely with all these versions becoming a powerful force and never separating again You are now one with your intuition that guides you while you are in human form, knowing that human form is only temporary. Ask your intuition anything you want and listen with great respect. You are one with your higher self, whole and complete, able to access infinite intuition at any moment of your physical incarnation. Sit for a moment and really experience the sensation of oneness and wholeness. Good. And now we are going to travel to an experience in a past life that will allow you to clear anything that could be holding you back in your present life. So begin to float along your timeline again, and I will count down from five. And with each number I say, you get closer and closer to a past life that you need to witness. A past life that will allow you to release any limitations. Five, drifting and floating along your timeline. Four, three, two, allowing for your mind to bring you into a past life. One, you are now in a past life. Gaze around and see what you notice. It appears that this past life is one that allows you to release anything that's holding you back, removing any blocks you may have. Whatever comes up for you, just open yourself to it. Look down at your feet. What do they look like? See your surroundings. 
where are you notice the details of where you are and what you are supposed to notice here sense what kind of person you are in this past life what kind of clothes you do you wear what kind of people do you know how do you feel in this body you see that you are going to a place perhaps an event or ceremony to remove any blocks you may have see this day happen there are important people here those that greatly support you see the special things that take place allowing for any limitations to be freed feel in your body the sensations of all blockages dissipating notice how you feel each time something more releases during this special ceremony you have been waiting for this day for so long and the others attending this ceremony are also spirits incarnating in this vision to congratulate you on this advancement into a complete freedom the spirits in this experience are people you know now people who you have known and people who you will know along your human life they are pure spirit and see your body glowing with beautiful energy you have completed this spiritual ceremony through this amazing past life experience you are completely unblocked and you feel more free than you ever have and now I want you to reach out to all the other higher selves and all the other quantum higher selves joining together with everyone meditating at this time or anyone who ever does this meditation in a single grouping of time sharing your information now become one Now leaving the ceremony and leaving the crystal palace. You float out up through your crown chakra and out into space. Once again, looking down on the earth, sending it love. Coming back into your body and let your mind float and drift bringing into your imagination the thought of a beautiful beach you are walking through the white sand and so it's so soft and warm under your feet small waves are lapping against the shore and as you walk you see things in the sand like colorful shells and pieces of rock seaweed and your own footprints You notice a piece of driftwood that is perfect size for riding in the sand. So pick it up and go to where the sand is wet with seawater and begin to write your name in the sand. Notice the sounds the stick makes as you scratch it through the sand. Good. Now step back from your name and look at it. You notice a small wave comes and partially washes away your name. Also washing away any fears 
and another comes and washes your name away even more, washing away anything that brings you anguish, and another, and another, until your name is so washed away by the waves and completely washing away your worries until all you can see is ripples in the sand where your name used to be. And you continue your walk along this beautiful beach noticing the temperature of the weather and perhaps the sun on your skin or a nice breeze passing by. Maybe you can hear the waves lapping against the shore and some seabirds flying overhead. As you walk a little further, you see a nice chair, so sit down to take a rest and gaze out into the beautiful blue ocean. Notice the horizon and how the ocean meets the sky. As you look out into this most beautiful scene you've ever witnessed, you notice a small white cloud brewing on the horizon, and it's coming towards you. When this cloud gets closer, you notice that this cloud is very intelligent. This is the cloud of infinite intelligence. Any question that you have, begin to blow them out towards this cloud and watch that as you blow anything that you desire to know, the clouds grow darker and heavy with rain. Continue blowing, allowing for the cloud of knowledge to soak up anything you ponder. It becomes heavy with rain and begins to pour down a warm and gentle storm of purified insight. The beautiful rainstorm is filling you with intelligent infinity. Enjoy this storm now and soak in boundless intelligence. Wonderful. You've had an incredible experience today, one that will last for your entire lifetime. You have merged with your higher self, who is now in your body right now. You have communicated and downloaded your quantum higher self, and you've accessed intelligent infinity. You have the answer to all of the questions, and you are a secret agent of unconditional love. You are now a warrior of love in the service to others. It is an amazing feeling. We are going to come back now to wakeful awareness, bringing back all that you have learned with you. One, coming back. Two, feeling good. Three, feeling strong. Four, breathing in fresh oxygen. And five, feeling complete. Six, feeling whole. Seven, feeling wiser. Eight, coming back. Almost there, nine and ten feeling happy and rejuvenated. And I want you to pinch your palm somewhere on your palm. And I want you to do this on a regular basis to bring back this feeling and this memory of this integration and knowledge. You will never forget because what you're about to experience is magnificent. 
you are about to completely transform and change your life. You are a different person now. Everything changes. This is the beginning of something wonderful. It's been a while since your higher self has been in a human body. And the higher self looks out and is so excited at the vibrant colors, smells, and every little detail. For it is all brand new and wonderful in this moment. This is the beginning of the adventure. And to your higher self, I say, welcome to the reality revolution.